We are now only 12 days away from the start of the OU football season. Sooners have their starting quarterback in Jalen Hurts and are focusing on getting Hurts and the rest of the team ready to play Houston on September 1st. Lincoln Riley named the former Alabama quarterback the Sooners starter yesterday. Hurts beat out freshman Tanner Mordecai and Spencer Rattler. Now that Hurts is officially the starter, he has a chance to improve even more before the season opener because of a higher percentage of reps with the first team offense. You go from getting, you know, in the 30 to 40 percent range, and all of a sudden that ratchets it up, you know, pretty heavily. And so, uh, you know, and it gives you a chance to start game planning around some of the things that you think specifically these guys can do well. So, yeah, you typically see gains here, and we would expect to have that from him. Oklahoma State's quarterback battle is still going strong. Drew Brown versus Spencer Sanders. And Mike Gundy said tonight there's no timetable to name the starter. Could be this week, could be game day of the season opener. No matter who wins the QB competition, the Cowboys will have a quarterback who's never thrown a pass row issue. Folks will also have an inexperienced defensive line and linebackers. So it'll be interesting to see how those positions do this season for the fans and for Coach Gundy. Does it affect your sleep at night? Sure it does. But is, there's also a level of excitement. Uh, I've done this long enough now. I kind of enjoy it. I just want to see what they're going to do. We need three or four more really good practices, and I want to go. I want to watch them play. I, I'm excited about watching them play. Big news for the Tulsa Roughnecks: new ownership that says they plan to significantly increase the investment in the franchise. They made the announcement at the gathering place today. Tulsa natives, the Kraft brothers, bought the team. The Kraft say they know the Roughnecks have been struggling, but they're in it for the long haul. And they plan on turning things around. There's been a few years of stagnation, and so it really is a, going to take a little bit of time to rebuild. And it's going to take some time to listen in. How do we set those priorities? And how do we you know, best achieve to where that fan experience, and we're all looking up, uh, to where we have five, six, seven, ten thousand 10,000 people in the stadium cheering us on. They're going to keep playing at One Oak Field, but there is the chance in the future that they're going to have a soccer-specific yeah. Field to play on, an arena to play on there, so it'll be interesting how they go about that. I love the goal. Fill those stands. You know? Yeah. It would be nice. Want right. 10,000 people there? Well, we'll see. Yes. Yeah. All right, Nathan. <laughs>